What happened to Harry? Anxious Duke shaking like a leaf at Invictus Games as scared of boycott. Meghan and Harry were keen to show confidence on their return to the spotlight in the Netherlands, a body language expert has claimed. Meghan, 40, and Harry, 37, arrived to cheers and applause at the Invictus Games in the Netherlands on Friday, with their Netflix film crew in tow to capture every moment. Their visit marks their return to Europe after fleeing for California during Megxit and the pair reportedly visited the Queen during a trip on the way through to The Hague. Speaking to Mail Online, body language expert Judy James explained, Harry's facial expression says it all here. His emphatic eye crinkling and his head tilt as he smiles suggests a return to the cause and the people that he loves, while his hand-cupped self-clasp hints at a small amount of trepidation and humility during this first public appearance for a while. Harry also fiddles with his wedding ring here, which seems to signal how important the support of his wife and family still are to him. This is a partial barrier and partial self-comfort gesture that shows the ongoing bonds between himself and his wife Meghan. His hand is on top of her in the clasp, hinting at a similar desire to lead and protect as we saw during their first public appearance many years before. Meghan's hand is cupped upward in a gesture of submission and the way Harry has his other hand stuffed into his trouser pocket suggests a desire to look casual and confident. Meghan's white pants suit might be more sophisticated than the ripped jeans and boyfriend shirt she wore back then but her hand on her heart gesture signals a desire to show and ongoing love of the public. James previously claimed that Harry has adopted elements of an American accent, with a rising inflection and blending of words. Judy James said being in lockdown with Meghan Markle would have sped up his adoption of Californian English as she also noted his overkill gesticulation with his hands while speaking during their bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey last year. James, a leading communication and body language expert, told Mail Online, Harry has been in lockdown with Meghan and he clearly adores her so it would be natural for him to pick up on some of her way of speaking, too. Once lockdown ends and he is socializing with other US people I'd expect it to be even more dramatic. You can see that through a couple of things, I comes out as A and when he says herself he stresses the self. It comes as social media users expressed their shock last night after Meghan Markle met the Queen and Prince Charles for the first time since Megxit and the royal racist row. Royal watchers on Twitter were critical of the visit against the backdrop of so much controversy. One wrote, how has she got the front to face them after all she's said? Another added, think they would have been booed if it had been announced. Harry, 37, has not seen his grandmother in person since Prince Philip's funeral last April when he flew over briefly from their new home in the US. But their contact would have been limited because of COVID restrictions. He has since launched a high court legal action against the Home Office claiming it is too dangerous to bring his family to the UK after being stripped of his official Metropolitan Police protection. Expert Angela Levin has claimed, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's decision to swerve Prince Philip's memorial service has cost them a royal welcome on their first overseas trip together. She told The Sun, any decent human being would have been absolutely shocked by Harry's paltry excuse for not attending the memorial service for Prince Philip. The Dutch royals would have seen how he's treated his family and I do not believe they will make any effort beyond the minimum. They will have seen how upset Catherine and William have been and how very diminished the Queen has looked since her husband's passing. The Queen has looked.